So here you go, episode four, canopy and T5 lighting. So just going to show you guys. Again, this is just my basic, you know, canopy, nothing fancy. Good three coats of uh, Bear Ultra paint on there. Sanded it, you know, with a little sponge pad in between each uh, coat. And you can see, um, I would, me personally, I've been to lots of LFS's around and shows and, um, you know, painted stands. Mine's better. I can, I can admit it, mine's better. It's not laminated like some stands, but this, uh, this indoor outdoor paint holds up to the salt, no problem. Nice hot towel, you can wipe it down, spotless. So the top is not complete yet. This panel right here I actually have downstairs. I'm giving it an extra day to dry because I also want to do a video on how I wire up the uh, retro T5 fixture that I got. And, yep, just two little hinges on the top. This is about almost six feet in the air, so nobody will see these hinges or those little wires in the back besides me, and I'm okay with it. Um, after about two minutes, I forget they're there. So, then you can see here how I put this, this corner trim, and I did that so that I could hide the seam, because when it closes, it looks like it's one piece. I thought that I thought there were some issues here, but no, it's just a shine. So then on the other side, I just took a standard wood screw. You can't really see it because I lined it up with the black trim. And from this angle, you know, there's a wall here, so it's not like you're gonna be right next to it. So when I want to work on the tank, I just flip up the lid like this. And you guys can see that screw right there. Sorry, it's a little blurry. I just take my little paracord line, wrap it around it, let the door hang a little bit, and now it's taut. The um, paracord is holding the door. I like it kind of on a lean like this so that it does keep tension on the cord itself. I can just leave it like that and walk away. But I'm a big dude, you know, I don't want to bump the tank or shake anything and have this thing come slamming down. So, keep it on the paracord. It's not going to fall. It's not going to get in my way. So there's the uh, canopy. Oh, real quick. I did have a little piece of extra corian laying around, so cleaned off the edges real nice. And made my little uh, top for my box that I installed. So, we'll get into a little bit on the lighting. It's a four bulb T5 fixture. Right now I'm only running two Coral Plus and, I mean, I'm sorry, two Blue Plus and one Coral Plus. The way I wired this up, I wired it so that um, it's a two-channel fixture. So two bulbs run off of one wire and two bulbs run off the other. If I wanted to make it a three or four switch fixture, I guess you could say, like a true four-channel, it would take me nothing but maybe ten minutes to do that, but I don't really have the need to ramp up and down and do all this and do all that. So the schedule is two blue plus come on at noon and they turn off at 10 p.m. And then this coral plus comes on at I think 3.30 and shuts off at 7.30. I did have a fourth bulb on there which was the blue plus but I took it off for a little while because um, the canopy that I had sitting on here prior to this one was just like a temporary one and it was actually three inches, uh, two and three quarters of an inches lower than this one and a lot of the corals were getting too much light. When I do the um, video on how I wire up and built this fixture here, I'll show you the reflectors on this. It's uh, they're a little bit different. They're, they're, they're better than your standard um, fixture and I want you guys to see that because this thing's putting out a lot of light. I do have an Apogee PAR meter coming and I will show you guys my PAR readings on this tank with the bulbs at this height, different bulbs on, um, so we can see exactly what these guys are doing for me. You guys can see here, just a quick shot, I do have some coral in the tank. I haven't really gone in depth on that yet, but I'm going to on my next video for sure. You've seen everything else, but the coral, I'm actually, let's see, I'll go over here real quick. I'm going to give you guys just a little... Um, 
a little sneak peek of some zoanthids that I got. And I'm going to show you where I got them from, who I got them from, and how I got them. But, yep, another sneak peek. These are Reef Spies Monty Caps. Nice purple one down there, nice red one up there. So, everything's just sitting for now. Just hanging out. But that's it. I just wanted to, you know, get episode four of the Reef build out there. Show you guys what I'm doing. Oh, orange lights. Boop, there we go. So, yeah, oh, I don't mind this little cord. I just got to cut it up here and then melt the end and I'll be done. So, next also is uh, the reservoir tank. Like I said, I'm almost done with that. I should have that middle of next week. And the doors, I have a really, really good idea for glass pane doors that slide right off. You guys are going to see that. Hopefully it uh, gives you some ideas, but thanks for watching. Episode 4, Canopy and Lights. I'm out.